Come on, Errol. Errol. No. She's back. <coughs> Love you too. So now we're reviewing Night Shifter. <coughs> Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Kind of a little side note here. If anyone knows what <coughs> Arrow's going through right here, she's got this like smoker's cough, and we don't know what it is. We've taken her for a kennel cough, but uh, she's just like really phlegmy. Like it's like, it more so happens in the winter season. So it's just, if anyone knows, it'd be greatly appreciated. Poor little girl. So Night Shifter is one of the most well-known episodes of Supernatural in its entire history. It is one of the most sought after episodes. This was my favorite episode of the season for a long time when I was younger, for the soundtrack, for what happens in the episode, the surprises and everything, as well as Chris Goche, who I've actually gotten to work with before. He's actually a really, really funny guy. He's a really nice guy. Admittedly, I didn't realize it was him though, because ever for since I first got to work with him, he's had this big beard, and uh, I didn't realize it was him. That's just like, the change but he's been a huge actor in Vancouver for a long long time in a bunch of different shows a series of unfortunate events once upon a time he's been out here for a long time just killing it he is one of the most influential characters in this show even though he only ever appeared really in one episode technically you could say he appeared in two episodes because he came back as a ghost he is a great character in this episode he's the first time that they've ever seen someone else really a normal a, a, a civvy actually track down a monster in this case a shifter who is assuming the roles of people who work at banks jewelry stores and whatnot robbing the stores and then promptly killing themselves, but really killing the original person. And he's able to track it down for the most part, but he thinks it's a robot. There are actually some cool, funny, laser eyes robot jokes. Actually, that was the first thing he said to me when I said, hey, I remember you from Supernatural. Oh yeah, laser eyes, right? However, Sam tries to deter him and it's kind of an asshole, but it doesn't work because in the end he comes and he holds up the bank that he knows that the shifter is at. The three of them have to try and take down this thing. However, the cops get involved, poor guy gets shot, and it's actually probably one of the best parts of the episode in terms of just like, wow, just an emotional hit. The emotional weight of this death is so huge considering he's such a small character. And then when the FBI agent comes in and he really has been gunning after Dean and Sam, so now they have a real, real close connection with the law and a manhunt. Everything about this episode is really well done. Camera works great, the storytelling is really well done. The episode starts off really well with starting halfway through the episode then coming back. They would try and do this later on, especially in the recent seasons, and it doesn't work nowhere near as well as it did in this episode. There is one major problem though with this episode. The shapeshifter has no character, absolutely none. He's just a bank robber, but you get more description about his character from the events of what he's done rather than him himself actually. Kind of really noticed this about halfway through the episode. You almost never hear this person speak. You just see that he's just trying not to die. That is probably the one reason why this episode doesn't get a 7 out of 7 because it doesn't have a villain. That's the only problem with this episode. They spent so much great time establishing the characters, establishing Norm, establishing all these other things about this episode, but they don't get the villain down. It's the one thing they had to sacrifice, which admittedly it works. It still is a fantastic episode. The ending with Renegade by Styx is fantastic. Love that song. Played it way too many times when I was in high school. It's not a peak episode because of that aspect. I'm gonna give Night Shifter a six out of seven. In the last video, I asked you guys to give me your comments about Night Shifter, so here we go. Let's see what you guys have to say. I love Night Shifter. It started the running from the FBI subplot with Henriksen. My favorite part is when Sam and Dean enter the car and Dean says, we are so screwed, him realizing that they can never have a normal life after this. It always gives me chills when the song Renegade starts to play at full force, which perfectly ties into the story. When the boys' actions actually had consequences was when its supernatural was at its best. Agree with you on every single point there. Night Shifter is another great one. It's a great reference to the yeah, we stole it from the X-Files formula to make this show situation. That is great. Night Shifter made me on the edge of my seat as soon as Ronald showed up at the bank. Props to Special Agent Hengritson. Props to Special Agent Henrik. Props to Special Agent Henriksen being a human baddie who doesn't know the unexplainable is out there until season three. It makes sense in the narrative that the law would actually catch up with the boys. I legit thought Sam and Dean were going to get caught by him in the closet. Sam and Dean have dealt with cosmic forces, yet I am more on edge when they are in a contained environment and have to survive on their own wits and skill. Ben Enlin wrote this episode, love every episode he's written, and is one of the best writers that I miss the most. Yes, I agree with you actually on that point, the idea of them being in a contained environment. Putting them in a situation where stakes actually kind of matter is something that the new 
breed of the show doesn't have any idea what to do. Night Shifter was awesome. Roland, the laser-eyes guy, was hilarious, who sadly dies, but comes back in Season 4. Hendrickson is introduced and claims to know everything about the boys except the supernatural part, and that is somewhat more important in the later season throughout Season 2 and Season 3. And because of the shapeshifter case in Hendrickson, the FBI... Okay, you're just... Okay. Night Shifter, an... Night Shifter, a top episode. The cold open leaves us wondering why the heck Dean is robbing the bank. Okay, I was kept on trying to figure out what the word was. Yeah, cold open. Writing and casting deserves kudos with the introduction of stellar agent Henriksen, one of the best reoccurring characters that wasn't used enough because the actor got another show. I know a lot of people like Night Shifter, but I don't like it as much. It was too slow and not memorable or rewatchable one for me, but I'll admit there are some good scenes in it. I love Roland and his crazy mandroid theory. The Cyberman on the magazine was actually a funny nod to Doctor Who. Whether that was intentional or not, it was shocking to see. It was interesting to see someone have a critical opinion of the episode, which you don't see that too often, but I can understand where they're coming from with this. Anyways, thank you guys again for giving me your comments. Next episode I'll be reviewing is Houses of the Holy, which is going to be kind of interesting considering they kind of totally shut down the idea of angels, and then angels would come into season four. Make sure to give your guys' comments about that and I'll read the best ones off in the video next time. Thanks you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, We'll see you guys soon.